Ruskin is the world leader in controlled oxygen incubation solutions for studies involving physiologically relevant cell culture, including stem cell applications. We recently sat down with Professor Nicholas Forsyth, Associate Director of the Institute of Science and Technology at Keele University in the UK, to discuss how Baker Ruskin's Cytive Hypoxia Workstation has helped his team develop a more efficient method of expanding mesenchymal stem cells for potential therapeutic use. My name is Nick Forsyth. I'm a reader in stem cell biology at um, the University of Kiel. Our research is based within uh, the Institute of Science and Technology in Medicine. Um, and we're based here at the Guy Hilton Research Centre. Our research lies within one of our research themes called Bioengineering and Regenerative Medicine. I act as the head of that research team. I also operate as the associate director of our institute. Now, our research is focused on hypoxic stem cell biology, uh, regenerative medicine, and tissue engineering. And we operate in those three, those, those three areas. One of our recent accomplishments was a, a publication we just put out into the journal of Regenerative Medicine, where using um, bone marrow from, from healthy donors um, we, we sought to establish um, the transcriptional differences between mesenchymal stem cells isolated in either a continuous hypoxic environment, such as the site of workstation, a single user incubator, single user um, hypoxic incubator, a multi user hypoxic incubator, and a standard incubator. And in that process, what we discovered was that by applying continuous incubation, um, at a hypoxic level, that is continuous handling in a workstation, our P0 MSCs displayed um, massively enhanced yields by colony forming unit fibroblastic, as first defined by Frankenstein, and by cell count. Um, now, that was important to us because we're very keen on identifying the conditions which allow us to isolate as many mesenchymal stem cells as we can from bone marrow in as short a time scale as, as possible. Because from a clinical perspective, if we can get a therapeutic yield of autologous stem cells in a two to three week period without any passaging, then we can treat more patients more quickly. Using the workstation, what we also discovered was that across a wide range of samples, we looked at around 12 individual donors, we discovered um, a greatly reduced transcriptional heterogeneity across those samples and that allowed us to pinpoint into BMP2 or rather repression of BMP2 in hypoxia and upregulation of noggin in, in hypoxia um, as being key as a key controlling mechanism behind those greatly enhanced cell yields. The key component in achieving the the research based focused on mesenchymal stem cell isolation and BMP2 repression was having the tools to be able to perform the job. And the tools that we needed to do that were um, an easily usable, user friendly, um, easily interfaced um, workstation unit that we could clean readily, that would provide a night controlled temperature, controlled gases with. Um, good service support and um, you know, an accessible team that's sitting behind it. <coughs> Baker Ruskin were able to provide that to us um, and, uh, and in that process we, we built quite a, a successful relationship. User-friendly operation, easy maintenance, precise environmental control and service excellence made the difference for Professor Forsyth. What can Baker Ruskin do for you and your work? Find out at bakerruskin.com or click the link to see the next video in which Professor Forsyth discusses the importance of controlling dissolved oxygen in culture media with Baker Ruskin's media conditioning system, Hypoxicool. Thanks for watching.